Yes, all entrances to a freeway are marked with uh, vehicle access only. I'm not yes, going to ticket you, but I just wanted to tell you that I also don't like your beard, and I don't want you to do illegal U-turns on I the freeway. I feel like that's not right. I'm speaking honesty right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some law enforcement with the San Andreas Highway Patrol in the DPS division. Uh, last time we used the DPS, we actually, it felt like the first time we used it, to be truthfully honest. But last time we used it, we were in the all-white um, uh, Explorer, and now we're going to be in the all-white Charger. Next time we do T DPS, I'll just use the standard blue texture that they would uh, normally use. But I really am digging the whole all-white one for some reason. I'm really not sure why. It just looks super fucking good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it here. I'm going to be working Los Santos. That's going to be AOP of Los Santos today. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can get into. So I see some activity over here at the uh, gas station, the LTD. Oh, my God. Like half the fire department just pulled up into the uh, LTD there. I say half, but it was literally just a fucking command vehicle. Uh, I'm going to throw on my blinker here. That way they know I'm turning left. Let me guess. You guys are going to the gas station too? Might as well just have everyone. What the fuck are they wearing? He actually is going into the gas station. Holy shit. Those are the shortest goddamn shorts I've ever seen before in my life. God damn it. Those are just awful, bro. Absolutely awful. Oh, God. I'm, I'm doing the, the cross symbol right now because they need Jesus. That's for sure what they need. We're going to grab a coffee from Don's establishment here. I heard he got some new bean machines that are roasting some much better coffee. I hate when I walk through a door and it fucking loses the uh, coffee that's in my hands. What in the hell? Control 5, Victor. 303. Hey, you might want to go a little farther behind the building next time, Mr. Pants. Not you, dumbass. Just your partner who's deciding to change in front of everyone over here. What the fuck? What the fuck with you? You guys got another? Oh my god. All right. First of all, I have a lot to say here. How are you going to leave the house with half your nipple shump coming out your shirt? Huh? What are you doing, S.O.? Take go, some goddamn go pride. Go fix it. Sir. Go fix it. Well, then Wait, fix your the shirt. skin. We need for review, you fuck it. You're you fuck me. it. I think me. someone needs to take a class of talking shit. Control five, Victor. Three, go three. fix it right now. Go yes, sir. What are we running here? Do you know approximately? Let's do a PT, sir. What does that even mean? Uh, physical uh, fitness training. That would be uh, PPT. Yeah, no, well, yes. So, is that why we have people changing behind the LTD like they are crazy? Oh what the God. fuck is going uh, I, on? I, I think what happened was their their mind exploded, sir. That's what happened. And I they didn't see. Have the thing. Is that why that lady just shit out of thin air? I, yes, sir. I don't know what the hell okay, is. fantastic. I like the coordination we got going on here, then. Yes, sir. All right. Like you could use a little bit of PT yourself, sir. Actually, I'm in great good. shape. Thank you very much. Uh, are you sure, sir? I know so. I bet, I bet you I could beat you in a foot race. You I'll could beat anyone with those shorts. I could I could beat that charger. Okay. All right, well, hey, have fun sir, beating yourself. Better. Sir, uh... You want me to slap Mr. myself? Bigger? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't take sure. the joke the way it is. Better, sir. Yeah, I'm the just glad you're not fucking changing in the open anymore. Driving a golf oh. caddy oh, on he's the like sidewalk a, would be yeah, unsafe. Stars. He's like a general. Uh, un unsafe speed for uh, conditions. Arms? What about my arms? Unsafe speed on the for conditions. Sorry, sir. You I did not realize you were like a, <laughs> a lot of stars, <laughs> sir. There we go. Appreciate it. My stars mean everything. Even though I don't think they're attached to my collar. Um, drive it properly. You are an all-star to me, sir. I appreciate that. All right, have yes. a good day then. Control one king two four. Uh, Control five one king three five zero. Go for five one king three five zero. One king two four five one king three five zero. Going to be new call assignment for impeding traffic. It's going to be eight five one interstate five. I got zero times eight people suspicious. Uh, oh God. Interstate across five, the uh, interstate one. and uh, block this traffic. If I can ever one respond. zero two one seven. Okay, so we're going to need to go this way right here. Okay, so they're on the I-5. Uh, we're going to need to head over that way. Walkie 24, copy. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get over there. We have GPS routing us one way, and then uh, we have our main GPS going another way. 
I'm going to activate some lights here because we got some people in the roadway. Um, I want to make sure people get out of the road. Okay, that was the weirdest fucking thing I've seen. He, he just bomb dived to the left. Definitely going to run some lights here because we have... Uh, These are the people that we spoke to earlier. I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave that in. We had a quick interaction with uh, five or six people that were like popping out of the fucking woods, it seemed like. Control two looking on one. And I guarantee this is going to be the same individuals. This is going to be them probably right here. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to pull over right down here. That way I can kind of verify. Oh, that's right. I got to take this one. So we're going to take this way. I was, I had the wrong dot set up. I wasn't thinking. I knew exactly what I did and I still wasn't thinking. Here we go. I'm going to be on the wrong side of the fucking freeway, dude. Fuck. There's a bus stopped on the side of the road as well, too. Okay, we have a uh, HP unit that's chilling there with that bus. I'm not seeing uh, 856 is what they said is the updated postal. Or 865. Monkey 24, do we have an updated location on those guys or are still the same as the call? Uh, from what I got from the 911 call, it was going to be eight people stretching on Interstate 4. It's going to be in the area of 851, that's all I got. Copy that. So I'm not seeing, uh... Yeah, control this station eight. I'm not seeing anyone station on the eastbound station lanes. Station. I'm going to have to turn around up here then. And we're going to have to go down to that bus. Uh, I don't want to miss it. So we're going to just turn around right here. And uh, we'll head down to that bus. I guess they could have all got onto the bus. But that would have been a little bit odd if they would have all just got off the golf cart. And went into the uh, bus there. But if we have like six to eight people. That's definitely not good. Okay, I think this is them right there. Yeah, why did you throw on your lights behind me and like that, like how you did it? Okay, these are the same guys. You put up behind me, throw on your lights and just show us. What's going on? That's how we do. I'm trying to find my people that are here. Yeah, we're looking for them too. Yeah, see, the thing is, we're looking for them too, so where are they? Copy. Uh, I would tell you if I knew. Okay, well, they were just called. The 911 caller said they were on the freeway here, and now they're not here. That's why I'm here. Wait, the PT, what do you... I'm Bob, so fucking confused right now. PT, what? Well, watch your uh, mouth. Relax. Like what? what do you mean, PT? Relax. Uh, it doesn't matter, PT. Basically, we have six of your guys that are not in that car and on the freeway walking around. Oh, right, and I'm trying to make sure that they're not doing that. And I'm trying to make sure I get them off the freeway, possibly either in handcuffs or not in don't handcuffs. You, don't you got like a radio to tell them to get off the freeway or something? So my question is, where the fuck did they go? Like, where the hell could they have gone? Unless they went this way. Uh, from anywhere from Maybe they that, went here. Don't pull up behind a unit. Just I didn't like that pull up behind you. I pulled up and side. control two ocean one thirty one. Right, I'm gonna go check the uh, five here to the left. Okay. Yeah, me get you to assist on this fire. It's gonna be five eight seven. Don't throw Park don't Boulevard. Throw okay, so I'm gonna check south. I've already came from the other end there, so I'm not really sure where these guys could be, but chances are, oh shit, is this them? Got him. So, yes, one, two, three, four, okay, so one, this is going to be them. Three, stop, stop, one, stop two, talking. Monkey 24 to that yes, HP sir. unit that just was talking to that Merriweather Tahoe. If you want to try that's to get him and have him come back over talking. to I'm South 5 the way I went, the uh, six guys are over here. Hey, already jump up. I believe he was following you. Which is right. Negative. He went North 5. I went South 5. It's going to be 865 on the South 5. Why do you keep taking a break? Are you tired? Ten, sir, no, sir. Four. Holy shit. What are we doing? You know you have a uh, vehicle that's looking to pick you guys up and you guys are on a freeway? Wait, what? Sir, no, sir. There is a the Merryweather SUV that's on the four over there looking for you guys. Can't find you guys. And here you are doing push-ups on a uh, interstate. Uh, apologize, sir. I did not know it was illegal to run on the highway. That's why I'm not a law enforcement officer. This, all entrances to a freeway are marked with uh, vehicle access only. No pedestrian access. No bicycle uh, access. Right so I'm, I'm a little confused on why you wouldn't understand that you can't be here. Because we ran up the on-ramp or the off-ramp, sir. So and you should know that pedestrians and bicycles aren't allowed on the highway. 
And you guys are training to be Merryweather? Uh, well, well, yeah, they are. We are Merryweather. So you're telling me you are Merryweather and you don't know that? Uh, yes, I'm, uh, I'm an idiot, sir. I do apologize. Right, clearly, huh? That's not very nice to agree with me, sir. You have to give me a hug now because you hurt my feelings. How far have these uh, troopers got with you guys? Uh, they're processing my information. Okay. Do you know the guy in the black uh, top there? Uh, yeah. Who is he to you? Just another fellow Merriweather. Okay, that's the car I was talking about that was trying to pick you up. Hey, uh, Mr. Hartman, can you check the class for working fire? I'm sorry? Okay, yeah, I, I did not, I did not, was not aware that Mr. Crab here was trying to pick us up. I copy, working fire. Did he, was he talking to me? Yeah, oh, okay. that's my name. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Uh, no, I was talking to the, the guy you were talking to. He, oh, okay. Uh, got something What's his name? Uh, James Hartman. Oh, okay. The guy's name. I don't know how I thought I heard my last name. Never mind. Whoever doesn't that. fit in that SUV, I will take the remaining in my car. Yeah, and I'll take you off the freeway, and then you can figure out the rest of your life from there. Let's not... It seems like too big of a draw. Hey, yeah, what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. This is a class A group of people you're training, just letting you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, holy shit. Yeah. All right, load up, and whoever doesn't get in, get in the white charger up here so we can get this going. Load up in Tahoe. Let's go. And you better not have those damn lights on when you leave this place. Okay, so we're going to give a uh, ride to the remaining. You think it's a good idea to be standing on the ledge of a freeway like that? Do you want my honest opinion? I mean, that's why I'm asking a question. Um, I mean, I didn't stand on the ledge of a Well, you were close enough. It's not where you should be walking anyways. I was seeing how big the drop was. Well, were you going to plunge off the side if it wasn't too bad? That would be correct. Okay. Are you a high-ranking Merriweather member? Um, a private. I've been trained. Oh, I can see you're not high-ranking. All right, where is your wow. truck going? Uh, okay, appreciate it. Hey, Merriweather, go so I can follow you off the free. What the fuck? Okay, if you want to give him a ticket, uh, go for it. Yeah, it looks like those guys might want him, honestly. So I'm just going to give you a ride off the freeway over here, and then you can figure out your life, okay? Uh, we really do appreciate that, sir. Absolutely. Sorry about the uh, confusion. This communication. Well, let's. Uh, if we're gonna stick to our PPT here, Jesus Christ. Um, let's stick <laughs> to. Uh, well, that's what you said in the first place, PPT. So let's make sure we stick off the freeway. If we're gonna do that stuff, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Have a good day, PPT, and all over the road. Anybody else gets on the highway? Thank you for the ride, sir. You're welcome. Stay away from ledges. I don't trust you, black shirt. Yeah, Thank you, get, trooper. Get away, from, get away from the ledges. Hey, get get right. off the curb. Adios. 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 Amigos. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, little call there. I'm going to call myself 10-8. Oh, looks like someone back. keyed up right at the exact same moment that I did. So, you know what? We'll just do it through the CAD here. Uh, we're going to self-clear. Actually, hold on. I'm going to do it so that way they can see that. Self-clear right after that. We are good. Okay, good stuff. So, we had a little bit of a uh, stop there with these guys. I think the SUV... I don't know where they... Hold on, I'm going to ask this guy. Hey, did you see a black uh, Merriweather Tahoe get off the freeway about five seconds before I got off it? I did not, know. No? Okay, appreciate it. Okay, so if they didn't, that means they continued on the highway there. Uh, if I could give that guy a ticket for being a blatant moron in front of me, we might as well, but chances are I won't be able to find him. Okay, so 835, they got that Tahoe stopped on a red light violation unrelated to what we see, so I'm not going to ticket him over it, but I want to chat with him and let him know that he can't be fucking busting U-turns on a freeway after already driving pretty reckless because he pulled up behind a police officer and I guess turned his lights on on the roadway, which the cop didn't bust his balls or anything, which I'm surprised because that's not what you really want to be doing on the roadway. So we're going to be down at the VU here shortly. And then we can have a chat with these uh, these guys. I'll let them do their thing first. Hold on. We got traffic. Okay, so I think it was just dispatcher, that officer attaching me to that. Yeah, he just attached me. So that's what's playing. If you guys ever hear the voice like that, that's the... Um, that's the uh, cad that's talking to us. Just going to pull up right here. 
They got plenty of people. God damn, double traffic stops up in this. I'll just park right here. Fuck it, it's not a big deal. They got enough lights in this bitch to light up a coliseum. Oh, double traffic stop life. Oh, what is this guy wearing, dude? Monkey 2423. Can I close the window? Hold on. Uh, no, you're not. Close the window. Uh, do you have? Can I have your license registration paper insurance? To be yeah, absolutely. I know it's a company vehicle. Over the side. Oh, yeah, company vehicle with the guy driving like a fucking dumbass. Yep, there you go. Who is the originating? My apologies. Three Romeo thirty-three. That's what I thought. Thank you. But yeah, we're we have an assignment, so we're just trying to get it done. Okay, um... Was so that assignment be finding the other Meriwether people that are not, not with you? Uh, it doesn't excuse the fact that... Oh, I understand that. I don't realize... I don't realize... Yeah, I don't realize that. This swerving is through. Uh, this trooper also has something, uh... Of course to, to he tell does. You. Uh, of course yeah, I do. So, he always does. Yeah, what's up, man? So, you know when you, uh, left the scene there at the freeway without the uh, uh, full car of your guys? Oh, that was the other Tahoe. Oh, no, it wasn't. I remember your voice, but thank you. Also, I remember oh, your... Oh, you're saying I'm memorable, fucking, sir? Your... I don't, yeah, I don't know the word I'm trying to look for with your beard, but it's I mean, it's almost like it's glued on. I don't know like you're right here. Like, you're not you all right here because I was the hair? other guy that brought the three no, no. guys down off I mean, the freeway. I, I, was, I, was, I was backing you up, sir. I was saying we're all in the Tahoe. Like, yeah, but you're missing three wrong. of you guys. I don't well, know yeah, you took them. I know, but why didn't you guys follow me? Listen, I'm in the back seat. They told me, but remember, you told me to leave. I but told I you to leave anyways. To that's irrelevant to why I wanted to speak no, no, to you. No, you told me to leave. Okay, you like I said, you, that's irrelevant. Leave, I don't care. I was just asking why you didn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, why you because didn't you when you leave. see me anyways. I could give a shit less at this point. What I wanted to relay to you oh. was the fact that you did an illegal U-turn on the freeway oh, no, the with a bunch of your... But no, I don't give a shit what he said. I'm saying no. Oh, well, don't do that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, sir. Okay? I'm not yes, going to take it to you, but I just wanted to tell you that I also don't like your beard, and I don't want you to do illegal U-turns on the freeway. I feel like that's not... Right. I'm just, I'm speaking can honestly right now. I'm can just I, being can truthful. Can I borrow some money to get hair implants? Uh, you can go buy a pair of scissors and cut it off your face. Well, I mean, I could, but I don't think the scissors would reach. Alright, what's your name, by the way, driver? Uh, I copy. And just first name, last name. I just want to know how to identify you in the future if I see you. I identify as Meriwether. You identify as Meriwether, okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm not one of those. Uh, my name is William. William. All right, William. Thank you no, today. Liam. Liam. Okay, same thing. It's a yeah. shorter version, Damn, I guess. Well, no. Will well, Liam. Yeah, but you can drop the will. Yeah, but I'm saying like, it's a, it's a condensed version right of William. So, anyways. Uh, well, it's all right. Not, so. Have a good day. It is. I just said it was. Uh, so, bam. There you, there you go. Stay, okay. No, you're not free to go. I say, uh, uh, dude. Do you want to go to jail? Because I need to use my uh, handcuffs today. Not, not again. Please take him. To jail. I have a handcuff quota. Yeah, I need to hit. Please take him to jail. I have a handcuff. All right, so let's take let's handle Mr. Safari, Safari Sheriff here, here and we'll let him continue, okay? Take him to jail. Uh, sir, take him to jail. Uh, take him to jail, sir. Sir, uh, Mr. Crap, is your yeah. information... I keep sir, thinking he's calling on Mr. Yes, Crap and shits, you know what I mean? I like, that's what that. it sounds like he's saying. Right. And I heard no, that the last time he was on the scene with me. It should be a nice short search process, as short as those shorts you're wearing. As short as your fucking... I'm wearing some short shorts. I mean, I'm a, I'm a ranger. We shorts. don't really. Get Is it that hot out today? Uh, yes. All day, every really. day. You know, you know what's not around. making today hot? Me. My, that my beard. beard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, shots fired. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry. Oh, shots fired. Shorts, shorts, sorry, I'm just. I've been ragging on him uh, the whole time, making him feel good about his life. <laughs> Hopefully, next time I see him, he has it uh, cut off his face. I. You know, this time you've made, this time because you've done it before, you've made me feel so bad that I'm actually gonna do something. About it. Okay, well, good. I mean, you just go down to the dollar store, get a pair of trimmers, and you'd be good. Uh, can I borrow a dollar? Uh, no, I would assume with Meriwether, you should make money like that. I get paid like hey, 49 cents. If you could hour. walk out the door looking like that with your face, you can damn well make it and get a dollar for that tri uh, trimmer. Uh-huh. I, I swear on everything. You know, Have you heard of OnlyFans, sir? Uh, only half a beard, because that's what you got. That's funny. That's Ooh. funny. I like that. That was funny. <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay, well, good luck with these guys then. You have a great day, all right? Yep. Okay. I think you pulled me over once before, too. I don't remember ever you. typing your last name in, to be truthfully honest, so. Or I think you pulled over my cousin. Oh, is that right? Who's your cousin? Annabelle. Annabelle. 
Yeah, I think I stopped him before. Him over for, oh, you saw him get pulled over for going in a gas station and he uh, got pulled over for going the wrong way? Uh, oh, I remember that. Yes, I do. Yeah, he went to jail. Oh, that's that. unfortunate. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, you have a good day, all right? Yep, you too. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Officer. Yep. All right, Where you guys have a good season? one. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting out of here. These guys are being cited for the red light violation that they occurred with the uh, trooper and Los Santos police officer here. Uh, so I'd say we did pretty well. Um, we're going to have to fucking unlock our car here. Ah, uh, sick. I already have my window down, lols. So th those guys have all met back up, which is, I guess, a good thing. So let's go ahead and hit the streets again. Okay, we got a possible robbery going out at... Uh, 834, 634, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and go code 2 out that way since it is a possible robbery. I'm going to have one more additional in route to my location as well in case there is a active robbery with a weapon. We have a little bit of backup just in case. So whole goal is to get there relatively first if I can. That way I get uh, eyes on the situation and see if I need more units possibly. They said it's at the clothing store right here and we are going to be pulling up any second now. I think it's actually going to be one street over. Yeah, it's going to be down this way. I'm going to go ahead and kill lights. We're going to roll up in front of the store. We're going to see what we have going on. Okay, it's going to be 1K2423. Hi, copy. I got a 23. I do see a nice blue car down there, but uh, maybe unrelated. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lock my car just in case someone tries to steal this shit. You never know. Oh, here we go. We got a CCTV in here. We got multiple fucking things. When officers arrive, they uh, see the employee with a bloody lip who says that a guy in a gray skull mask with a white shirt and blue pants, black gloves, walked into the store, hand her a note. The note said, give me the money or get hurt. Uh, CCTV shows the male in the gray skull mask walk up to the east Portola Drive, walk into the store and give the note to the clerk when the clerk... Check her head. She was punched by the suspect in a white shirt, blue pants, white shoes, and a gym bag. Okay, so it looks like we had a clerk that was punched in the face after she refused to hand over the money. Uh, we have the suspect on CCTV, so I'm going to send out the uh, description so that way someone possibly can pick him up. If you want to look around the store, see if we can pick up any more evidence? Yep, gotcha. Okay. Hi, copy. I'll look at you. 24, dispatch. I have a update on the suspect involved in our robbery. Go ahead, sir. Uh, subject has left the scene after punching the clerk. It looks like the subject was wearing a gray skull mask, white shirt, blue pants, black gloves, and a black uh, duffel bag on its back. You got anything else in the back? Uh, let me see. Copy, stand by one. Uh, one King, two, four. Uh, Thinking my last little bit if you can send in. Ten four. It's gonna be a repeat description: is gray skull mask, white t-shirt, blue pants, black gloves with a black duffel bag. Hi, copy. Thank you. Okay, so if that's uh, if that's it on that, you can go over and read the description in the corner for the CCTV. And, uh, how you doing? Doing good. I heard we got a local potentially injured. Yeah, she was smacked in the face after she refused to give the money. If you want to see what's going on with her. Sure. We appreciate it. Of course. Okay, so doing, at this point we have a robbery suspect that's fled happened. from the scene. I don't think they were in a vehicle. No uh, vehicle from what I'm seeing on that CCTV, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, too. So he might be in the area. So definitely possibly on foot. Did you want to get transport? Uh, let me try to get a bow up if you uh, did already. Did you already I haven't I haven't moved out of the store location yet. Nope. Gotcha. If you want to go ahead and give a brush around the uh, neighborhood, see what's going on. All right, I'll get yep. a med unit down here. To check out two seventy two. Okay. Low trooper detected Max. How we doing? Doing great. What do we got here? Well, it looks like a person came in, tried to rob the store via note. Uh, lady refused, got whapped in the face. Uh, guy took the money and then ran off. With the duffel bag full of cash. Okay. Have you collected a statement yet? Uh, we have not. We kind of well, I got a uh, general statement from her just so we knew what we were looking for. Other than that, I've glanced at CCTV, but all that's still in there, so you'll be able to pick it up. 
Okay. And yet, I heard you say that she's being treated by medical. Is she still in the store or is she over at Correct. The she's by the uh, counter there by uh, medical. Copy. It's, not the counter. Right. it's a local, right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Okay. I'll get to work in the scene here and update with any more information I get. Okay. Sounds good. I'm probably going to take off to a canvas of the area since the CCTV showed he was uh, on Go foot. Uh, on foot. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be back here. All right. Got it. Yeah, I'm going to start canvassing. Okay. Go We're going to take off from here due to the fact that uh, the suspect is not on scene. I want to see if I can locate this guy somewhere that's walking around. Uh, the 911 call just came out, so he should be in the area somewhere. At least my vehicle was secure, so that's all that matters at the end of the day. Uh, they have a medical or ambulance coming out for the uh, down local. Obviously giving them the finest Los Santos treatment right there, so that's uh, all that matters. So let's do a canvas and see if we can find this uh, individual. I got a vehicle with a door open over here. This is the same blue car that I saw earlier. Usually they don't have doors open like that and just, well, yeah, sometimes they do. But that's the same blue car I fucking saw earlier. I don't know if it's related. It has some pretty dark window tint on it, though, not going to lie. Doesn't seem like it has any scratches on the exterior. Monkey 24 dispatch, can you do a plate check for me? Send it, sir. 23 Edward Edward George 869. I want to see if this is an actual registered vehicle. Door open, custom body kit, dark window tint. That looks like that's possibly going to be someone's car. And that's a block down from where the uh, robbery took place. Good. Uh, 23 Edward, Edward George 869 does not come back to our system, sir. Copy. So, definitely odd and out of place, I gotta admit. Because look at it, it has custom rims, it has uh, all that stuff. Five meters, so, I'm not sure what to make of this, but uh, I'm not sure if it was used in a robbery. I did see this fucking car, though, when I was pulling up, bro, at the intersection. I wonder if the guy's somewhere around here then. That that actually could be the case. I'm gonna do a roof check. Uh, cause it looks like this roof kind of goes right up directly across the street from the clothing store. I'm not sure why the individual would choose to go next to a security camera that's literally right there, plus stay in the area of the crime. But it's better to cover the basis here that way in case we don't have a ambush or anything like that if they did have a weapon. Looks relatively clear up here, but this is a damn good vantage point from what I can see. I can see the uh, Ponzibi right here from where I'm at. Honestly, this would be a perfect scout location, to be truthfully honest. I would love to just see someone's head fucking walking around or something, dude. So I saw the uh, that Comet back here. So I'm not sure if they took a turn there and then parked in front of where they're at and they just got out and walked away, which could be possible, but... I definitely saw that car there. Nothing on the roofs from a full inspection that I did, even on the higher levels as well. So, if the guy's in the area, he's probably a little farther back than the immediate area, which is what I would do too. Because I'd be kind of stupid if not. So, keep my eyes open. Uh, if we can come across him, that's great. If not, we have a full description, so that way other ground units uh, on the patrol can keep their eyes out. Okay, so right now we've got a uh, incident going on with the Merryweathers where they, like, ramped up what they were doing to people, uh, so we're in route. This could be a negative. Uh, 835 is going to be the location where the RPG's at, uh, that they're requesting to make contact with Leo. Copy that. Okay, so this is going to be our RP right here. Uh, That's a big-ass well, fucking tow truck. That's all right. How we doing? To the traffic stop. Adam's How you doing in there? Board. Clear code good, how are you? Oh, I'm just great. You want to step out and uh, let me know what's going on here? Yeah, so some Two Merryweather both, guys just tried to carjack me. Okay, and you said that they, you told uh, dispatch they were in the SUVs, in their Merryweather SUVs? Yeah, they were in an, uh, an SUVs, or two SUVs, and okay. a Charger, and a Bronco. So they had four they cars with them. Right, they all had green light, green and white lights, and okay. sirens. Okay, say, say the list one more time so I can tell dispatch. Two Tahoes. Okay. A Charger. Okay. 
and a Bronco. Green so were the the two Tahoes and the Charger? Those were Merryweather vehicles. Yeah, they were all Merryweather with Merryweather markings. And even the Bronco. Yeah, even the Bronco. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, give me one second. Hold on. I'm dealing with four other things right now with Merryweather. Ten for a copy. One King Twenty Four. Additional information for the scene that I'm at regarding them. It was four You're vehicles involved. It's uh, two, two um, black Tahoes with Merryweather markings, one Charger with Mary Merryweather markings, and then a Bronco with Merryweather markings. Copy. I possibly got another nine one one call related to this for you. Copy. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna hand Copy. you something Would you to, like to. Hold on one that second. Out to you real quick? Yeah, go for it. Copy. It's gonna be a octopus boat at the port. Oh, it's gonna be a dock worker, a suspicious person. Black you, man. Do you wanna do me a favor and sign this uh, witness or put a, or fill out this up. witness statement for me? Go ahead, dispatch. Oh, go ahead, sir. Do you have a postal for that? I'm having this female fill out a witness statement that I can head down. Uh, it's gonna be 911 down in the dock. Copy that. Can you get one started that way since I am uh, in the middle of this? Copy, uh, 2 Paul, 232, near Port Authority. Can you route down that way, please? And four, what was okay, did you sustain any injuries from uh, whatever happened with those guys? Copy that. I'm in the area. I have no visual. Um, no, th my truck was locked the whole time. Copy. There's my statement. Okay, appreciate that. It? Yeah, do me a favor, just sign the bottom. Uh, two Paul, two That's obviously stating that, that board, everything on that statement's accurate and uh, truthful. Got it, okay. Okay. I appreciate that. So, uh, did you stay yeah. any damage to your vehicle? No, they just walked up to the passenger side, oh, yanked on my door handle, just and uh, that was on it. That black cargo, Bob. It's gonna be road. Okay, here's my card. At this moment, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off because we might have them down by the port. So, if anything pops up, um, if you want to just give me your name or your number, I can write it down on this report and I can call you back if we need you. Yeah, my number is seven seven six five one six three. I can write that down for you. Nope, I got it. Thank nope. you so much. I go. do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully yep. today gets a little better for you. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so we got the port that we're going to head down to right now. We've got the possible suspects that are down here. Uh, they might be trying to board a boat. I was trying to listen and also talk with the female on scene there, but it was not working to the best of my abilities. So since this is a uh, possible robbery or a... Uh, I'm not sure what they were trying to do to the female. That's the thing. There was about four vehicles involved. It could have been a ton of guys there. I have no idea. Uh, but they were obviously up to no good. So let's go ahead and head down there. Code 3. Get some Code 3 driving in for the mix. And hopefully we can stop these guys. We've been seeing them all day. So the fact that they're starting to ramp it up to this like weird like trying to steal people's car and intimidate them and all that shit. It just really doesn't make any sense. Uh, no weapons at this exact moment. Then, we, then again, we're unsure if they are if they have them. So that's something we gotta be a little wary about. Uh-oh, we got shots fired. Yeah, I just got a 911 call. 911 caller at 858 is getting chased with the uh, cargo about that's uh, having a porta potty onto it. Oh, we're here. I can head that way. What's the, the what's again? Dude, they're down at the Merriweather facility. Yeah, it's gonna be eight five eight Dutch London Street. Fuck, I I gotta uh, see if this cop's still here. There. You also have a sensor down at nine two nine here. I copy, sir. Okay, 24 dispatch. That 929 sh uh, shots fired might be related to the Merriweather, so we can head over there if we clear this area. Anything down there? Nothing, Nothing at all? Well, let's go over to the Merriweather uh, port since there are shot spotters. And... Okay. Okay, so we're going to head down to the Merriweather port because we have Merriweather that has been spotted in the attack using vehicles that were involved uh, with their business. So we have probable cause to kind of talk to them and see what's going on and if those vehicles are at their property and if they are then we'll know that those guys that most likely committed the offense are at that facility as well too so we're rolling out with port authority that way we can kind of have a better understanding of this area they know it like the back of their hands so Copy. Uh, we'll be advised that we'll head 13 here for at 922 correct 929 we're going to be 23 on scene 
I copy. How many people do you have with you looking too far? Be myself and the Port Authority. Uh, it is also going to be at the Merryweather facility that they have. Nine two nine. New dispatch. One zero two one threes. Shots fired. Heard. Nine two nine. Okay, so we're on scene here. We got to see if we can try to locate anyone at this facility. If we can find the guys that are in the uh, vehicles that we're looking for, it'll be quite simple. I'm sorry, what? Okay. Left side here. On the right side over here. Right side. There's multiple people. Go ahead. Yeah, it's the same guys we spoke to earlier. How we doing? Hey, what's up? Hey. So, uh, how many more people are at this facility here right now? Five, eight, uh, uh, eight, I believe eight, two. Eight, two. Eight, yeah, eight, we're getting rides home. The They're getting rides home. So, do you guys just roll up here, or what's going on? Uh, we just came back Four. to base to park the vehicles. And, you know. What what vehicles were that exactly? I'm curious. Tahoe and... Wrangler. Uh, a Tahoe and a Wrangler? Uh, yeah. So, do you guys have Tahoe's Chargers and Broncos in your fleet? I don't believe Broncos. We have Chargers, Tahoe, and a Wrangler. A Wrangler. Does a Wrangler kind of look like a Bronco? No. Like a Jeep? Yeah, the Jeep. Okay. Alright, so, where are the, how many guys are here with you that pulled up? Uh, now, I believe two. Two. Where are the now, rest of the guys? I think one's coming out right now. Hold on, let me. Got on a forklift. That's fantastic. So, where were you guys before you came back to your guys' facility? We're here for multiple reasons right now. One, there was a gunshot that went off inside this facility. And then we also are here for some other stuff as well, too. Uh, we were over by VU, and the gunshot is probably from our firing range. I probably forgot to put the silencer on. Okay, so you're over at the Vanilla Unicorn, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Who were the people that were at the Vanilla Unicorn with you? Uh, I was there. I was. Okay, anyone else? What was the problem with the Vanilla Unicorn? I'm just trying to get some information here, so that way we know what we're dealing with. Uh, sure thing. So, who else was at the VU with you guys? Um, how many other guys? Just, just a number. A, a general oh, a number? number. Um, like six. Four of you? Six of you? Okay, so did you guys roll up in four exactly. cars? No, we're no, in two only cars. Two. Okay. So it was roughly between four and six. I don't remember an exact number. What cars did you guys roll up in the VU in? Uh, Jeep and uh, the Tahoe. Tahoe, the Tahoe that you had pulled over, and then okay. that Jeep that you saw parked over there. Okay, so while you guys were at the VU, did anything happen? Any altercations? Any yelling, screaming with anyone else? Um, we're doing PT. Okay, just. That's not necessarily PT what I was asking. And that's pretty much it. And I know yelling was disciplinary action against the guy that was driving like an idiot. Who was that? Uh, the guy you pulled over for making an illegal U-turn on the highway. And okay, over for let, me, let me clarify my questions then. So when you guys were yelling, screaming, anything of that nature, surrounding vehicles, was it anyone that wasn't to do with Merriweather? No, no, we didn't have. No. no, you guys had no interactions. You guys saw no one. Well, there was a Casey's guy, but we didn't really talk to him. Did anyone in the Merriweather group go and speak to him at all at any point? Uh, we said sorry for you seeing this. Other than that, not really. Seeing what exactly? The physical uh, therapy that was going on. Yes. Okay. And no nothing else happened. That's that's all the type of interaction you had with one person there, which was a tow truck driver. Yes, sir. Correct. And you had eyes on the tow truck driver, so you were able to verify that no one else went up the whole time and did anything? Uh, what was your question again? I'm sorry. I said you had eyes on, on all of your guys the whole time, so yes, no one was yes. able to go up we, and do anything. No, no, no one did anything stupid. Okay. All right, I need you guys to sit right here really quick. Okay, I'll be right back, and I have a quick chat with this guy, and we'll be right back with you. Yeah, no. So I was at the VU. Tow truck driver said that the group of uh, Merryweather guys swarmed their vehicle. 
Um, no damage to the tow to truck or anything like that. Did not make any contact physically with the tow truck driver. So I really don't think there was a crime committed. We were just trying to check the basis since we've uh, been dealing with these guys all day. But then again, the story that they just gave me has zero correlation to what the tow truck driver just said. So I think at this point, minus the gunshot that went off, but they do have a shooting facility here, then I think we're wasting our time. So I'll kick them loose and let them do what they're doing, but I really don't have enough evidence to do anything with them at all. So. Uh, so, uh, well, and what happened down there at 9-11? I was called down to 9-11 when I was out there. What was happening? 9-11 was... Uh, Supposedly these guys, they were down there doing something with like a boat, if I heard it correctly, I'm not sure, but then the shot spotter went off, we came down here, there they are, so. I think we can disregard 9-11, so. Okay, I'm gonna kick them loose, and then, uh, we can go about our business. Okay, so, uh, I had the tow truck driver over there say that you guys were up to no good surrounding the vehicle and all that after, you know, looking um, at it. I'm, uh, I'm not going uh, to press any charges, you. so, but... I hate to interrupt you, but, uh, I think he just felt uncomfortable for the amount of us I could care less. on his vehicle. I could care less because I'm about to leave here in a second anyways, so you guys are free to go. I just wanted to say why we were down here, and on top of that, it was a shot spotter as well, too, that brought us to your exact location, so... We yeah, were no looking problem. for you guys. She said that you guys surrounded the car. In the end of the day, that's not necessarily a crime unless you block the car in. But uh, I have no evidence to really do anything anyways. So, Okay, well, that's why when I asked you guys what was going on at the VU, that's why I wanted the whole story. Not afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah, no problem. Okay. So at this point, you guys are free to go back to what you're doing. Go home, whatever it may be. Just uh, next time, probably not a good idea to surround someone with six, seven people because it could make them feel uh, threatened. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can see why that tow driver was felt threatened. Absolutely. Okay, well, you guys have a safe night, then. I appreciate you guys coming out and talking. Yeah, no problem. You too, Trooper. Thank you so much. All right, we're leaving the port. We let those guys go because I do not have sufficient evidence to do anything anyways. Um, actually, no crime was really committed there at the uh, VU either. I just think she felt threatened, and that's kind of where it, where it ended uh, with all that. Also, she gave misinformation. It was probably stressful. She got a Bronco somehow mixed into the mix, and they weren't driving any Broncos. We've seen them all day. And yeah, they would have a Jeep, but definitely not a Bronco, probably. Especially in a Merriweather uh, texture, that's for sure. But that's going to be where we wrap this episode up, ladies and gentlemen. Getting in here with the DPS yet again. Definitely a fun patrol. Was all over the map, kind of working investigations and stuff like that. And I do like episodes like this. Uh, but thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP. And we will see you next video.